what's up y'all this is a quick video for my budget bangers my base heads uh, we're gonna get into two ohms versus four ohms um, I'm breaking this down for you guys because there is a difference in sound not just power a lot of people don't know that I um, I did research on the internet plus I did it myself there's a big difference that comes down to are you a SQ guy or are you SPL meaning you want to be loud in SPL or you want better sound quality so breaking it down you guys got to always remember that we're dealing with four different things. Even though it looks like three, there's four. You're dealing with signal, power, crossover, speakers. Signal, power, crossover, speakers. Okay? One, you want your signal to be clean at the beginning. Two, you want your power to be clean. Three, your power affects the crossover, your speaker. So all of those work together, okay? Um, this is how it works. This is the difference between two ohms versus four. At two ohms, when you bridge your speakers down, let's say you got a two ohm amp and you got four ohm speakers. You wanna bridge the four ohm speakers down to two ohms to get more power out of your amplifier. Let's say your amplifier is a thousand watts and you're on four, you're on four ohms and you're only getting 500. Let's say at uh, two ohms, you're gonna get a thousand or close to a thousand. What happens is the subwoofer is telling the amplifier, I'm gonna let you push all of your power through the crossover from the amplifier through the crossover, which is the same thing. You got an amplifier and a crossover together nowadays, okay? You didn't have that back in the 90s or the 80s, whatever. So that's another story. So when you're letting all that power come through because in the line, the speaker's saying, okay, we gonna go down to two ohms, we gonna take all of this power. What happens is you're running into distortion especially if you don't have a really expensive amplifier like a false gate or a kicker and your distortion level isn't low the louder you go you run into distortion okay so what happens is now once the power hits the crossover you're trying to dial in on let's say 30 hertz because you're on two arm and all this power is coming through and the sub the subwoofer is not resisting because that's what the arm is it's saying four arms i'm gonna resist you're gonna come with all of this power from the amp and i'm gonna be like bow i'm gonna block some of it when you block it you get more bass it's more controlled you're blocking some of this distortion level because you're saying I'm not gonna go as loud as I could go. Everything has a distortion level. Your phone has a distortion level. You turn your phone all the way up on 10, you're gonna hear a little distortion. If you listen, if you back down a notch or two, it's gonna sound cleaner. So what happens is once the power hits the crossover, you wanna dial in 30 Hertz, let's say 30 Hertz, you're getting 60, you're getting some 80 in there because you hit the distortion level and the power just coming hard and the speaker's not resisting it. Nothing's resisting it in the whole line. So that's where you get the punch. You get louder, but you lose bass. Do it. Check it out. Research it. Four arms sound better than two, but two arms is louder. So, period. It has nothing to do with your volume knob. Nothing to do with just your crossover, your radio, nothing. The power's already there is the problem. Before we hit the crossover, before we hit the speaker, we're already coming in hot. That's what we say in the studio. It's hot. 
um, used to before all these plugins and stuff, if you wanted your drums to hit harder, you pushed it in the mixer really hot. You distorted it because when you distorted it, you get a clip and the clip brings in everything. So what happens with two arm, you're clipping already at the process kind of. You're already kind of clipping. You have less control. So when you go down, to, when you go up to four ohms, you get less resistance. The subwoofer is telling the amplifier, we're only going to push so much power through. That works with the crossover. So now when you dial on the crossover and you dial in on 30 hertz, you're going to get maybe 35, a little bit of 34, depending on your, your crossover, how good it is, how good your amplifier is. Um, some of these crossovers ain't as good as other crossovers. They look the same, but they different. It's all how it's made. But when you go down to four ohms, now you're getting about 30 hertz, 35 hertz around there now your gap becomes smaller you're hitting that frequency that you really want to hit i'm gonna be honest a lot of you guys think you know what 34 hertz or 35 hertz sound like and you really don't you don't because you're on two arms and you're losing bass see when you come with all of that power and you bring in distortion, you lose bass. You get loud, you lose bass. And we're talking about bass, people. That's what I'm talking about. Some of y'all wanna go loud, that's fine. Whatever floats your boat. I like bass. I like good sounding bass. I like quality bass. That's just me. Everybody's different. I don't need everybody outside the car to hear me. Sometimes, yeah, I got a little bit of both. I ain't gonna lie. But I like good sounding quality bass. So to break it down again, there's a difference. There's a big difference. And if you want to argue the fact, Google it. Or I'll leave some uh, links in the description where you can bridge up the four arms or bridge down the two. And I guarantee you're going to hear a difference. Period. So for you SQ guys, if you want more bass, we're not talking about volume. If you want more bass and want it to surround you and you want it to sound good, go down to four ohms. A lot of these car installers, uh, audio installers are not going to tell you this stuff. They're going to jip you for your money. They're going to overpower your subs so you can blow them and come back and buy more. That's why I'm doing these videos, man, because it's so many installers out here in these places. They just robbing people. You know what I'm saying? They name branding you and they robbing you. I'm not a name brand junkie. If it sound good, it sound good. If the specs are what I like and the specs say it sound good, it sound good, period. So if you like my videos, like and subscribe. I'm going to be teaching y'all more. We're going to be talking about bass. If you have questions, get in the comments. Uh, if you have